so uh, so i was interviewed with microsoft like around a uh, couple of months back uh, for the bangalore location and uh, the role was uh, the role which i was being hired for was a software engineer front end 2 and the team uh, was microsoft teams so microsoft teams is a product by microsoft which is just like slack and it has a lot of more integrations with other products of microsoft and it is popularly used in enterprises uh, for charts and sharing files and a lot of other stuff so it's great so now about how i got to the interview so i was approached by a recruiter on linkedin so uh, somehow the recruiter uh, got my profile and they called me up and uh, asked me that whether i am looking for and uh, whether i would like to try with microsoft for a front end role so i said yes and uh, then i was being called directly for the interview at the bangalore office uh, so that was it and uh, yeah so generally microsoft uh, before uh, uh, calling the people to on site Uh, they generally take a telephonic round before but i don't know in my case they just directly called me to the uh, site itself and then i was directly being uh, interviewed face to face i faced four rounds of interview which were done over a period of two days like uh, first day i had two rounds and then i think the interviewers were uh, not uh, were a little busy or something then then i was called again for the second day where i had two more rounds with the senior manager so those were the four rounds of interviews which i have faced and and the interview process like in a week i went two days and the interview was completed within a week uh, however they offered me uh, quite uh, quite after some time so you have you should be patient if you are interviewing that is what my experience was so i was offered like around 3 weeks after the interviews were done so so let me move on to the rounds what i faced and what was the more main focus area in each of the specific rounds and the questions which were being asked so first of all i would like to tell you that uh, while i was interviewing for microsoft in each of the uh, rounds i was asked to write the code on the uh, whiteboard or i was just using the whiteboard to explain everything uh, unlike uber like in uber generally we uh, give the candidate the preference to use their laptop and can code along with us and uh, that's how we do it uh, but you can again feel free to use whiteboards or something but here on uh, microsoft uh, uh, generally i was uh, solving the problem and telling my approach on the whiteboards yes i was being asked to write the code for a specific problem in the first round so let me start with the first round first so in the first round i was being interviewed for general ui concepts that is what the only round was uh, mainly focusing on ui i guess Uh, otherwise all the other rounds were quite generic and in this first round i was asked to uh, code it on i was asked to develop a small web application using vanilla javascript uh, so the web application was something like to develop a small uh, a small email client uh, which will have certain folders like inbox and items and something and then you have a uh, some of the emails tag to those folders and if you click on those emails then you can open a email separately so it was something like that you can come up with your own design and can uh, do the things so and you can also assume these emails to be in a json whatever you want to the main focus area what the interviewer was trying to uh, uh, assess was the use of vanilla javascript and how well i can manage things how good i am writing code am i being modular or not and all these other stuff so few features which which were asked to develop were uh, mainly focused on persisting the state of the application making a dynamic behavior suppose if i if a new mail comes in and if a new mail is added to the json then uh, how your ui should render and how dynamically everything should uh, modularize and and also uh, suppose the mail could be read or unread so you have to tag each mail with a red or a unread flag and then according to that uh, you need to persist their state if you have 
clicked on the mail and you have that mail unread then you need to persist that state even if I refresh the browser and these were the kind of uh, functionalities which were asked to be developed and so it was basically the use of uh, they were trying to check whether I can uh, properly use a local storage and what should I use like and what I am using to uh, maintain the state and how I am writing the code so that was it so I felt that as uh, very easy like it was uh, not that tough and uh, like uh, I was given one, one hour of uh, time for solving this I did it in around 50 minutes or something and then I was just brushing up with the CSS and other things and I completed it in one hour and then I submitted it uh, I uh, I submitted the code to the interviewer so that was about the first round I, and the interviewer was uh, quite nice like he explained me the problem quite well and uh, there was no I didn't ask for any help or I didn't need any help in the process so um, but the interviewer was quite friendly and helpful so this was all about the first round now the second round uh, was after an hour uh, gap between the uh, first interview and uh, I went for lunch after that and then I came back and then I had the second round the second round of interview was majorly focusing on data structures uh, I think they were uh, not going deep into the data structures but they were generally trying to see whether I am good at uh, handling uh, nested objects and all those stuff so uh, one pro problem which I remember uh, was asked was something like suppose you have a menu of a e-commerce site uh, which can be nested at any level so suppose if you have electronics the electronics can have uh, suppose a brand Samsung and that brand can have cameras mobiles and other stuff then in cameras you can have different type of companies Canon and uh, other companies and then in the canon we have one more uh, uh, level of hierarchy where we are listing down all the cameras so suppose if you have a json something similar to that and uh, the interviewer was asking me to uh, asking me to search the products and then how you are how we will be nesting it how will be how you will be routing through those products and so all the other stuff so they were just trying to check whether how comfortable I am in handling these nested objects and how well do I use data structures how will I map all those and how will I sort them and like similar stuff so it was more of like uh, the general thing uh, I didn't feel it much tough because just because these are the kind of problems which uh, we handle in our code daily and we uh, use objects and all a lot and then uh, we try to manipulate data so that was it nothing complex was asked uh, like any trees or graph question so it was basic nested objects so I wrote some recursive solution to traverse that thing and then search and sort accordingly so that was it it was uh, it was good then that was uh, these were the two rounds which happened in the first day and then I was called for the second day again for two more rounds on the second day I had my third round in the morning uh, those rounds were again not focusing on the front end but they were purely focusing on design and how to approach uh, the problem statement uh, and it was quite of more generic and I think and the, uh, and the interviewers were quite, uh, quite senior and they had experience of around 10-15 years and they were I think tech leads or managers I'm not sure about that but but they were good so in the third round I was asked to uh, design a load balancer like uh, the interviewer started with uh, asking me the problems what I face uh, while my day to day work and what kind of projects I am working on right now and all those I told and then afterwards I don't know how the conversion led to load balancers and then he asked me to uh, write a solution to uh, communicate between the nodes and the load balancers how we can manage different nodes and uh, how the load balancer uh, uh, how the load balancer just transfers the load to all these nodes and I was asked to write a specific uh, type of algorithm where we can efficiently use all the nodes and uh, those type of stuff so the conversion went more deep into how we can scale this and uh, 
uh, what type of data structures will be used and how I am managing if the node goes down and uh, all those things related to load balancer and uh, uh, how our projects will be uh, kept deployed and all those things. So that was the main thing uh, which was uh, being talked about. Apart from that, the interviewer was asking me questions from the projects which I did only and uh, he was basically drilling down into the core concepts and thing which I have already worked upon and which I can use to solve problems uh, and come up with some solution and good approach. So that is what the interviewer was trying to look upon. So the interviewer was quite helpful and uh, I was going in some wrong direction and then he identified that oh if you use this uh, set of approach then you will face such problems and then he was trying to help me with some hints so that I can uh, rectify those problems and uh, he was quite helpful and uh, the interviewer was more of two way like we were both communicating a lot and uh, it was a mix and match and I felt really good like. Uh, it was not tough, but yeah, tricky, I would say. So uh, that that was the second, third round uh, on second day. And then afterwards, I had the fourth round. Uh, it was like back to back. I had the third round and then uh, within 15 minutes, the uh, fourth round was scheduled. So the fourth round was again taken by a senior person of Microsoft. So uh, in that round, it was uh, mainly focused on design. So I was asked the question to design an online multiplayer chess. So the problem was huge and uh, huge in different dimensions. So I need to come up with some high level diagram of how I'll manage the whole application, what all things I will use, uh, what all things I will use, how we'll set up the environment. And uh, it was basically focusing on the scaling of the web app and then what things you will have in back end, what things you will have in front front end, what uh, data will you keep in memory, what data will you keep in database and how you will design the UI, how it should look like, what data structures will you use to keep the chess board and the uh, chess players and a lot of things like if it is an online multiplayer chess then definitely it would be a problem for scaling as well how will you scale your web app uh, how can multiple players join a game and then what is a game actually uh, how will you define your classes how will you modularize it so th that was a huge multi-dimensional problem i would say and uh, it was fun to solve it like uh, i was i was getting uh, stressed by it but still it was very fun to solve the interviewer helped me at certain points and then he was identifying some problems which I had in my designs and then uh, he was uh, trying to help me by uh, uh, telling me identifying the problems and then he was asking me for possible solutions and uh, that is what he was focusing on mainly and uh, we spent like around more than an hour in fact, I guess one hour and 20 minutes uh, just about solving all these uh, problems in different dimensions. So uh, again, I started with a very high level diagram of how I will uh, try to keep my data and how I will try to manage different users and, and then I was slowly focusing on separate components, smaller components and then uh, devising algorithm. So uh, some at some point of time the interviewer was asking me to write code for uh, code for specific set of problems like uh, how will you validate a move for a queen or how will you validate a move for a bishop. So that's what the interviewer was asking me in between and sometimes like suppose how will you uh, manage the manage such load and traffic on your website and how will you make it fast and how can a user start a game how can uh, how can uh, so whether you will keep the logic for validating a move in front end or a back end and then we had a great discussion in that question like whether we should keep a uh, algorithm of checking the moves in front end or on back end it should be client side or server side how fast we can make it and then and then uh, that is what uh, basically the interviewer is trying to guess. So uh, 
after the interview even i didn't know that whether i did good or bad but yeah it was uh, completely uh, uh, good experience i would say yeah so that was all the four rounds i had so if i talk about the overall experience it was very awesome like each and every interviewer was very helpful very polite and was helping me and was uh, trying to listen and understand what how i am trying to approach the problems in Uh, they were giving me hints and then they were identifying the problems in my solution and were making me think actually uh, and uh, getting to the solution so that was all i liked and it was worth the experience like you, you should definitely experience that uh, once in a while so uh, it was one of my best interview experience i would say and so that was all about the microsoft interview experience what i had and so yeah that's it for this video and if you got to learn something from this video then do give it a thumbs up and i would also be coming up with uh, more interview experiences in this series of uh, videos so stay subscribed to this channel and press the bell icon for all the notifications uh, about all the interview experiences and check out the other videos where i have listed down main interview problems and i am solving them right in front of you in the video so that you get a better idea of how to approach those problems in interviews when asked and and i have also recently started a facebook group uh, where you can join and connect with other fellow web developers where we have this community where we share our doubts and help each other we help with referrals references recommendations and uh, that's how we grow right so stay connected that's all for now and thanks for watching